Hello and welcome to this talk on CIS Amazon EKS Benchmark. So you and your team have started using Amazon EKS, but you aren't sure if the security configurations are implemented appropriately against good practice guidance. This is a concern that a few of our customers and their security and compliance teams shared with us, which made us look into the CIS Kubernetes Benchmark and create CIS Amazon EKS Benchmark. In this session, we will understand why we published CIS Amazon EKS Benchmark and how you can get started using it and assessing your cluster nodes. My name is Pavan Mistri and I'm a Senior Developer Advocate with AWS Container Services team. Since we have 15 to 20 minutes for this session, let's take a quick look at what we'll cover. We'll take a look at the CIS security site and the CIS Kubernetes benchmark. Um, we'll also understand the shared responsibility model for Amazon EKS, and then take a look at the CIS Amazon EKS benchmark. We'll finish off the session with a demo where you will be showed how to use this benchmark. From this session, I'd like you to leave with a better understanding of why you should use the CIS Amazon EKS benchmark for your managed and self-managed node groups, and how you can start assessing your cluster node configurations using the CIS Amazon EKS benchmark. So let's start by understanding what CIS security provides and the CIS Kubernetes benchmark. So CIS security is a community-driven nonprofit responsible for CIS controls and CIS benchmarks that are globally recognized best practices for securing IT systems and data. The organization leads a global community of IT professionals to continue, continuously evolve these standards and provide products and services to proactively safeguard against emerging threats. AWS publishes CIS guidance since past few years for AWS Foundations Benchmark, Amazon Linux 2 Benchmark, and Amazon Linux 2 STIG benchmarks, among, amongst various other publications. AWS has also integrated the compliance checks against these benchmarks in, a, in services like AWS Security Hub. The guidance from CIS helps customers quickly build foundational security for AWS accounts and operating system. So let's take a look at the CIS Kubernetes benchmark. The CIS Kubernetes Benchmark is a community-driven and consensus-based project initially published in May 2017 to provide security good practice guidance for Kubernetes clusters. Currently, it's under publication version 1.6 and supports version 1.16 to version 1.18 for Kubernetes. It includes industry-accepted hardening procedures for the Kubernetes control plane and data plane and it's reviewed by Kubernetes community contributors and subject matter experts. Our customers took notice of this benchmark and they were trying to use it to secure their Amazon EKS clusters. However, since the benchmark was intended for unmanaged Kubernetes clusters, they weren't able to use the benchmark appropriately. Let's understand the scope of the CIS Kubernetes benchmark then. The important note about CIS Kubernetes Benchmark is that the scope of the benchmark is applicable to both control plane and data plane, where customers are typically managing both control plane and data plane, also referred to as unmanaged Kubernetes clusters. This brings us to the shared responsibility model of Amazon EKS, which provides a managed Kubernetes service where it is important to understand that the shared responsibilities, particularly for security and compliance. Now with Amazon EKS providing customers a managed Kubernetes service, that is Kubernetes Confirmant, customers are provided a managed control plane in Amazon EKS. Customers don't need to worry about security configurations for control plane, neither do they have access to these security configurations. AWS is responsible for availability and security of the control plane components. For managed and self-managed nodes in Amazon EKS, customers are responsible for the nodes they operate in the data plane and the Kubernetes and, and, the Kubernetes and security configurations within. 
So this means that AWS is responsible for managing the control plane, including the Kubernetes API server, controller manager, scheduler, the etcd data store, and other infrastructure necessary for AWS to deliver a secure and reliable service. As an Amazon EKS customer, you are responsible for managing IAM users or roles and identity or resource-based policies, define and enforce nodes and pod security policies, runtime security, network security, configure security encryption and recommendations based on the benchmark. And you can also use the EKS best practices guide for security. AWS owns additional responsibilities as you move from self-managed Kubernetes nodes to managed node groups to EKS and Fargate. For example, as shown in this diagram, when using EKS Fargate on your right, AWS takes on additional responsibility for securing the underlying infrastructure used for your pods when, complete, when compared to the self-managed nodes. So building on this understanding of shared responsibility model, let's take a look at the CIS Amazon EKS benchmark now. We introduced the CIS Amazon EKS benchmark last month on 20th July to help you accurately assess the security configuration of nodes running as part of your Amazon EKS clusters. The benchmark is applicable to EC2 nodes, both managed and self-managed, and it consists of four sections on control plane logging configurations, node security configurations, policies and managed services. Since CIS benchmarks tend to be rather large documents with technical configuration details, the real value is realized by customers when the assessments against the benchmarks are automated through tooling and integration. One of our goals prior to launching this benchmark was to allow customers to assess their clusters against the benchmark right away. We worked with the team at Aqua Security who have published an open source project called CubeBench and integrated EKS node security definitions to the CubeBench assessment. This allows customers to readily test and assess their Amazon EKS clusters against the CIS Amazon EKS benchmark. We had our EKS engineers and security experts evaluate appropriateness of these checks. Hence, we are very excited that this benchmark is finally out for you to help secure your Kubernetes cluster nodes. So without further ado, let's take a look at the CubeBench tool in action. All right, so before we look at the terminal and eksworkshop.com, let's take a look at how to download the CIS EKS benchmark. You'd go to cissecurity.org and you'll be presented with this page. Um, the Center for Internet Security, being a non-profit, community-driven organization, the site hosts everything related to CIS, including the benchmarks, the CIS benchmark community, CIS controls, and other content. You'll also find more details on CIS Cat Pro, which is a subscription-based tool that CIS offers, and it allows you to assess conformance to best, best practices. So click on the CIS Benchmark download link, and that takes you to the CIS Benchmarks link. Just search for Kubernetes, and that takes you to the Kubernetes Benchmarks. When you click on expand to C related content, it lists out all the current and previous Kubernetes benchmarks. Here you'll find the CIS Amazon EKS benchmark link and click on the download button and it brings you to the form. Once you complete this form, you'll be able to download the CIS Amazon EKS benchmark. So here's where you download the benchmark. Now let's take a quick look at the benchmark itself. The benchmark consists of five sections. The first section, control plane components, is really not in scope for Amazon EKS since it's a managed Kubernetes service and customers are not responsible for configuration of control plane components for EKS. The CIS Kubernetes benchmark community agreed to remove this section from managed Kubernetes CIS benchmarks. So we have control plane configuration, worker node configuration, which can be assessed through CubeBench. We'll take a look at this shortly. 
Next, we have policies, which includes RBAC, pod security policies, and other guidelines. And finally, we have managed services section, which includes additional guidance on securing your Amazon EKS clusters using AWS KMS encryption, IAM, and cluster networking, amongst other topics. Before we move on, I'd like to bring up this page from the benchmark, which includes a list of contributors amongst many others from the CIS Kubernetes benchmark community who helped make this benchmark possible. It includes some of the EKS engineering team members who looked deeply in, into the configuration settings and related security impact. We'd like to thank them for their invaluable input and support to help us publish this guidance. Okay, so that was the CIS EKS benchmark overview. Um, now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the open source tool developed and maintained by Aqua Security called Cubebench that we'll use shortly in our demo. So we have the sample job eks.yaml that runs as a job in your Amazon EKS cluster to assess against the node configurations for kubelet. And within readme of the repository, there is also guidance on how to run the tool in an EKS cluster. So now having looked at these, now let's take a look at eksworkshop.com where we have a chapter dedicated to this and how you can use Cubebench to assess security configurations of your EKS cluster nodes against the benchmark. Okay, so this is eksworkshop.com and a terminal which I've opened up and when we click on the intermediate section, you'd find that there is a CIS EKS benchmark assessment using Cubebench. And it also shows our episode from Containers from the Couch show that we have just started with Brent Langston. Um, the next step is introduction to CIS benchmark and introduction to Cubebench. And then that brings you to the list of steps. Now, with the terminal open, we'll find out where we are. So kubectl will get service and list the clusters. Um, right now I have a couple of clusters which are um, in my account. So EKS will get clusters will give you the two clusters. We are interested in the EKS cluster demo cluster and the current context is that cluster. So we'll get the nodes um, for that cluster and here we just have a single node and we want to note the external IP. The reason being we want to SSH into the IP in this step, we want to install Cubebench within that node. So once we SSH into the IP or the node, um, we will go to the next step, which is getting the binary from the Cubebench repository and installing it within your node. So this step installs the binary within your node and once you have installed it, there is a simple command kubebench benchmark EKS 1.0, which is our version and there you go. So you get the results straight away for the assessment through logging into node and running kubebench. Um, section three is the worker node security configuration and we get 14 checks which pass and one which is worn around event QPS. Um, so successfully cleared the assessment against the benchmark um, definitions. And we'll take a look at another way of doing this, another way of assessing your benchmark without logging into or installing anything within your node is to create a job within your um, cluster. So I have already created this file job eks.yaml, which you can see here in my current directory. And it has a simple command which runs, which is kubebench 
node benchmark against EKS 1.0 definitions. So once we run this job on the cluster through this command kubectl apply dash f job eks.yaml, it fires up a node, uh, sorry, a pod, and then it generates the results in the logs. So the next step is to take a look at the pods and we'll see that the kubebench pod has completed. Um, and then we can take a look at the, the logs which are within the, through, generated through the pod. So just typing in and there you go. So the logs were generated and the assessment was completed uh, with the same results that we, we received previously. This time around, we didn't install anything on the, on the node. Um, so this is another way of assessing your, um, your cluster configurations, your node configurations. And there is an additional way or um, a deeper sort of way to understand what goes on behind the scenes. And that's the third step within the chapter on eksworkshop.com. Workshop so jobdebug.eks.yaml um, runs a additional command in a verbose mode, which provides you with some further details around um, what is being checked on the nodes and what are the results. So if you are interested for additional purposes, um, your informational purposes, then you can run this as a job as well. Great, so hope you find this demo useful to get hands-on with the CIS Amazon EKS benchmark. To conclude, here are some resources and references including where to download the benchmark. We hope you find the CIS Amazon EKS benchmark useful to assess security configurations of your Amazon EKS cluster nodes and meet your compliance requirements. As always, we welcome your feedback via our containers roadmap or through direct participation on the CIS Kubernetes benchmark project. Um, we can now take your questions in chat and thank you very much for attending this session. Thank you and have a great KubeCon.